Hello dear children. In the last lesson we studied about what nouns are. Let's have a quick revision. Nouns are the name of a person, place, animal or thing. And after that we studied what common nouns and proper nouns are. Today we are going to learn the noun gender. Children please have a look at these four pairs on the board. Boy, girl, lion, lioness, hero, heroine, cock sparrow, hen sparrow. If you look at these words carefully, you would realize that the first word is the male species. And the second word out of the pair is the female species. Like boy, lion, hero, cock sparrow are the male species. Girl, lioness, heroine, hen sparrow are the female of the species. What are they? They are the genders. If you look at the living beings, you would realize they are either of the male gender or the female gender. There are four kinds of gender. The masculine gender, feminine gender, common gender and neuter gender. Let's start with the masculine gender. A noun is said to be in the masculine gender if it refers to to a male member of a species means if we are talking about a boy or a man, a lion, a horse, what are they? They are the male members of a species. So they are known as the masculine gender. Now when you come to the feminine gender, a noun is said to be in the feminine gender if it refers to a female member of a species. Now if you talk about a girl, a woman, a mare, a queen, what are they? They are the feminine gender. Then common. As the name suggests common, a word which is common for both male as well as female. A noun is said to be in common gender if it refers to a member of species which can be male or female. Now, let's talk about if we say the word child. Child can either be a boy or a girl. So, if you are calling out the child not by a boy's or a girl's name, you are calling out the common gender. Student, when you are talking to a class, and you say the students will take out their notebooks. You are not saying a particular name. You are not talking to a particular boy or a girl. What are you talking to? You are talking to the entire class. And you are asking them to take out their notebooks. Friend. Your friend can be a male member or a female member. Till you do not tell the name, we will not come to know whether you are talking about a male friend or a female friend. In the same way parent. When I say the word parent, I'm not talking about your father or your mother. I'm talking about both because I have not specified whether I'm calling out your father or I'm calling out your mother. And then the last one is the neuter gender. A noun that denotes a thing that is neither male nor female is said to be of the neuter gender. There is no male or female gender being discussed here. Like if we talk about a chair. Can you tell whether a chair is a boy or a girl? It's a male member of a species or a female member of a species? No, you cannot. It's a neuter gender. It neither belongs to the male category nor the female category. Trees. Can you tell whether a tree is a boy or a girl? No, you cannot tell. In the same way, star. Mountain, rivers, can you tell which gender they belong to? You cannot because they belong to the neuter gender. Let's have a quick revision. Masculine gender, a noun is said to be in the masculine gender if it refers to a male member of the species. Example, man, king, horse. Feminine gender, a noun is said to be in the feminine gender if it refers to a female member of a species. 
Example, woman, queen, mare. Common gender. A noun is said to be in the common gender if it refers to a member of a species which can be male or female. For example, child, student, friend. Neuter gender. A noun that denotes a thing that is neither male nor female is said to be of the neuter gender. Example, chair, tree, star. Now I'm going to teach you how to change the masculine gender to the feminine gender. Which means, how do I change from the male member of the species to the female member of the species? Ways of forming the feminine of nouns. Children, there are three ways of forming the feminine of nouns. Three. Number one, by using an entirely different word. It means you are not adding anything to the word. You are going to use a new word to change the masculine to feminine. Like boy, girl, brother, sister, bull, cow, man, woman, father, mother, wizard, witch. What you have done here? You have used an entirely different word to change the masculine to feminine. Number two, by adding a syllable, E-S-S, I-N-E, T-R-I-X, A, etc. Syllable means a word or a part of a word which has a vowel sound in it. If you look at this carefully, E is the vowel here. I, E, Again an I. A. See how it is done. Lion. Lioness. You have added E-S-S. -S. Duke. Duchess. Hero. Heroine. You have added I-N-E. Zar. Zarina. You have added I-N-A. Sultan. Sultana. Fox. Vixen. So what have you done? By adding a syllable, you have made the feminine of these words. Now, the third point is, by placing a word before or after. You are placing a word before or after. Grandfather, grandmother. You have placed the word after. You have changed. From grandfather, you have made to grandmother. Great uncle, great aunt. Land lord, land lady. Milk man, milk woman. Peacock, pea hen. Washer man, washer woman. What you have done? You have changed the masculine to feminine by placing a word before or after. So the three ways by which you can form the feminine of nouns are Number one, by adding an entirely different word Number two, by adding a syllable Number three, by placing a word before or after Children, now what I want you to do is Write these 20 genders in your notebook Exercise A, you will put the heading Write the feminine gender of the following. Number one, bachelor, spinster. Number two, boy, girl. Number three, cock, hen. Number four, drake, duck. Number five, drone, bee. Number six, father, mother. Number seven, nephew. Niece. Number eight, lion. Lioness. Number nine, actor. Actress. Number ten, prince. Princess. Now, number eleven, hero. Heroine. Number twelve, husband. Wife. Number thirteen, son. Daughter. Number fourteen, uncle. Aunt. Number 15, King. Queen. Number 16, Horse. 
mare number 17 peacock peahen number 18 grandfather grandmother number 19 salesman saleswoman number 20 landlord landlady please have a look at the blackboard carefully and write these 20 genders in your notebook and learn them properly. The second exercise that I have brought for you is children. Change the gender of the underlined nouns. You have to change the gender. They can be masculine, then you will change them into feminine. If they are feminine, you will change them into masculine. Let's read out those five sentences. Number one. The aunt visits his nephew every weekend. The underlined nouns are aunt and nephew. Number two, the man has mares on her farm. You have to change the gender of man and mares. Number three, the daughter is taller than his mother. Underlined nouns are daughter and mother. Number four, does any actor like to play the role of the princess? The underlined nouns are actor and princess. And the last sentence is the queen is courageous. And the underlined word is queen. Please have a look at the blackboard carefully because you will be doing this exercise in the notebook. First copy the sentence which I have written. Then under it. Again put number one answer and then correct the gender.